Amy's ballet class started at 427. That is the time that we want to represent on our analog clock. First, I'm going to represent 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock means there are 4 hours and 0 minutes. This is my minute hand and I'm going to move it to the 12 because that's what represents 0 minutes. But my hour hand is still not at 4 so I'm going to keep going. I have 0 minutes but it's not 4 o'clock. I have 0 minutes but it's not 4 o'clock. I can still keep going. The hour hand is on the 4, the minute hand is on the 12, and that means it is 4 o'clock, 4 hours and 0 minutes. Now I will move the minute hand to the 5 because that is 5 minutes. So now it is 4.05, I have to keep going. It is now 4.10, I have to keep going. 4.15, I have to keep going. 4.20, I have to keep moving the minute hand. 4.25, I need to move the minute hand again. 4.26, that's one minute. 4.27. My clock now represents the time that Amy's ballet class started, 427.